you ain't miserable, you ain't happy. I am firmly implanted that black, most black women are happy when they are miserable. So you got the root. And I can't stand them, but I read them. All right. Don't call me auntie. Black celebs have strong feelings about this term of endearment. Any way for you Negroes to be upset about something, shout out to everybody else that's here, but I'm talking to Negroes right now. Any reason for you Negroes to be upset, you gonna find a reason and a way to be upset, mad, and up, and just got something to say about something that you don't need to have no say in. I can't take y'all biatches, okay? You know, everybody talking about Angela Bassett and the fact that she didn't stand up or clap or something. Child, I don't even know why that is a thing. No one can be disappointed because they left. I understand that we should all be a good sport. I got it. So we're going to just ish on um, Angela Bassett now because we was just calling her a good mother the other day when she made her dad gone son apologize for that MBJ joke, if you recall. But because she's disappointed at the fact that she thinks that she should have won, now we got to be dragging Angela Bassett. I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it. Going into last night's Oscar ceremony, let me stop. We had, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. We all had high hopes that Angela Bassett would take home the Best Supporting Actress Award for her performance as Queen Ramonda. Child, I, yo, I ain't seen that movie. I have not seen that movie, and I'm not in no rush, child. Wakanda forever. Um, but even she couldn't hide her disappointment when Jamie Lee Curtis's name was called instead. All right, fine. She's disappointed that she didn't win. Okay. Y'all act like she got up, cursed her out, slapped her face. Y'all act like she did a Will Smith. And these are basically black people. Y'all act like she did a Will damn Smith to Chris damn Rock last damn year. Y'all gonna make a controversy no matter what. No matter what. And then we come to this. A short while later, Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors took to the stage to express their love for Bassett. Jordan, re I'm sorry, Jordan referenced the key moment in Black Panther when he addressed her as, hey, auntie, adding, we love you to drive the point home. Now I saw that and I was like, look at that. That's nice. Respectful young men letting her know we love you. You know, not a big deal. We got you, right? That's how I took it. Look at that. Respect. All right. But what might have seemed like a tender moment and an innocent reference to a line from a box office smash hit actually strikes a nerve with some well-known black women in the business. Well, of course it does, you freaking bitches that's all you do is whine and complain and be miserable every day i'm up here on these damn youtube on this youtube microphone you just let me know all these years not to know you bitches this is why i never had a bunch of you bitches in my life because you miserable but then we'll be mad and then say that it's a stereotype. It's racist. Don't call us the angry black woman. That's what you are every damn day. You can't even be happy for Angela. I'm sorry, Michael B. And whoever the guy was to comfort your auntie, your your girl, uh, uh, the good mother, um, a woman of, of class, a married woman, a woman who ain't been in no scandals, a woman who's married to a, a top tier actor as well. Is that what he's done? Yeah, an actor as well. Who made her son correct himself when he did something wrong. Her kids ain't out here gremlinizing. Her kids ain't out here up on OnlyFans. You still not happy. But you okay with the entanglement since y'all brought up Jada. Shout out to Super Patriot. But you're okay with entanglements. I can't take it. I can't take it. Of all things. Who is this dude? Who is Mr. Majors anyway? Is he in that um, Black Panther movie or something? I don't know that man. I don't know who he is. 
Oprah Winfrey, Gail King, filmmaker Ava DuVernay, and Mary J. Blige have all gone on record rejecting being called auntie by anyone other than their actual nieces and nephews. Y'all, listen, listen, I can't take these bitches. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do it. This, listen, I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. There's really something wrong with black biatches and they really need to, everybody need to have some counseling. There's the, there's the reparations right there. There's the reparations right effing there. Give everyone free counseling, okay? Sorry, y'all. Um, shout out to, uh, I don't know what this is. I'm not sure who you are. I don't want to out you. I would just say the CEO who just sent me five on the cash app. He said, uh, keep doing your thing. Love this show. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Please like the stream if you have not. Subscribe if you have not. I appreciate you. Shout out to my guy, Miguel Domina, for the cash out for 144. I appreciate you, hon. Thank you so much for always supporting and being here. Thank you guys for being here. So, what do Oprah, Gail, Ava and Mary J all have in common. We got something in common. Mm, mm, mm. They don't want to be called auntie. <laughs> oh my God. I can't take life sometimes. Not literally Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Not over these biatches, y'all. Okay. While others, like Representative Maxine Waters, leaned into the title during the Trump era and continues to wear it proudly. Auntie Ava, why? Am I that old? Because I don't feel that old, DuVernay said during a 2019 appearance on Van Latham's The Red Pill Podcast. And it's not a respect thing. Auntie Ava, like Aunt Jemima, are you fucking kidding me right now? Listen, let me calm down because my, my baby can hear me go all. I'm going to calm down today. <laughs> but they really are saying these words out of their stupid, crazy black mouths. I said it. Shout out to YouTube. I'm a black woman. FYI. And shout out to my guys. Gaston's World is still here in the building. Appreciate you, hon. Uh, <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. He sent me 20. He said for making me laugh every time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. That's what I'm here for. We got to talk about it, but we might as well get some laughs out of it because if not, we'd be crying because this is damn freaking crazy. Look, hold on. Let me use Google because Google is our friend. How old is Oprah? 69. 69 years old. She got a problem with being called auntie. How old is Gail King? 68 years old. She got a problem with being called auntie. Ava DuVernay is 50 years old. She don't want to be called auntie. Mary J. Blige. Oops. Blige. It's 52 effing years old. We got 50 to 69. And you got a problem with somebody calling you auntie. They could call you Betty. They could call you old hag. They could call you old biatch. Give me some other names. Because I'm sure they should thank her, Annie. They could. What if they came out there? And, and Angela is not a granny. And we all know the rest of them not because they ain't got no damn kids. Wait. Oberyn got no kids. Gail ain't got no kids. Does Mary J. Blige have kids, y'all? I don't think she does. Um... Ava DuVernay, um, I don't know. Let's just assume none of these biddies because they could be called that. Um, <laughs> Shout out to Greater Emmanuel. Old Maze. Hey, old Maze. They would never do that, of course, to um to Angela Bassett. And I don't know that Angela Bassett had a problem with it. It's all the black bitches that got a problem with it. Okay. Y'all are well over half life. Listen, I'm 51. Shout out to Black Trunks podcast and some of you, but the one that stands out to me is Black Trunks. He's 20 some odd years old. He didn't have me on his podcast. He comes over here when he has time. He always respectful. We've talked offline. 
he calls me auntie. Why would I be upset about that? Why would I be upset about that? Technically, at the end of the day, he's younger than my oldest child. could be his damn mother. Come on now. Y'all just want to find a reason to be miserable. Miserable is happy for black women. Being miserable. What do they say? 40 is the new 20. Being miserable is the new happy for black women. That's it. Oh, oh, shout out to Jace Smith. Spinster. <laughs> for the win. For the win, Spinsters. Yes. Imagine him walking out there saying, it's okay, Spencer. Uh, Spencer. Wait, 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 wait. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait. It's okay, Spencer. You'll get him next year. Imagine if they did that. Shout out to Mona D. Mama. Mama, you'll get him next year, Mama. It's okay. It's okay, Mama. You'll get him next year. Y'all. I can't stand these biatches. Give me another race. Can I choose another race? I don't want to be white. I don't want to be Hispanic. I don't want to be Chinese. Make up a race for me because that's what I'm choosing, okay? Yeah, I'm choosing it because I can't do this with these people. Any reason to be miserable, they're going to find it, okay? You think I'm done? Let's finish this first. Um, Blah, 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 blah. And just in case that left folks scrambling to figure out what the heck to call DuVernay sent a follow-up tweet to clarify just exactly how she'd like to be addressed. Bitch, ain't nobody out here on these internet streets gonna meet your punk ass anyway. There's a word for it. There's a name for your punk ass. Okay? For the record, I happily respond to, hello, Ms. DuVernay. Notice it's not Mrs. Hello, sis. Don't ever do that to me. Hello, queen. I don't particularly care for that either, all right? Hello, family. Hello, Ava. Safest bet. Miss Ava is fine if you're under 18. Now, listen, I do believe in making children under the age of 18 and hell up until the age of 24, 25, call me Miss Michonne. And they do. And they do. I don't I don't have children calling me by my first name. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Shout out to the white people. Y'all all do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. OK, but with these new blacks, I don't know what they do. Generation Z. Child, did they be telling they be telling their parents, don't wake me up, and then they go wake them up, and then they go get the let me stop. Anyway, let me keep it moving, child. Let me keep it moving. For the record, okay, all right, we read that. This this is her tweet where she said it. The audacity. Girl, if anybody even know who you are, if they seen you anyway, if they weren't working on a movie with you, like honestly, if I tripped over Ava DuVernay, I would know who the F that woman was. I would know who the F that woman was. Okay. Oprah Winfrey echoes DuVernay's sentiments. I cringe being called auntie or mama. I know you effing lying. Oprah, you're damn near 70. These people, y'all, these people think that they are 20 effing years old. Listen to me when I tell you. These people think they are 20 effing years old. We didn't gain about the ages. They are 50 plus. They are 50 plus spinsters. We're going to go with spinsters. Okay. Any reason in the world to be miserable, they're going to find it. Miserable is the new happy for black women. I need to put it on a damn shirt. Okay. Who child? Winfrey explained in a 2019 interview, except if I'm in Africa. Oh, yeah, the Africans can call her that. Where it's the custom for everybody to refer to anyone older as sister or auntie, depending on the age difference. And there, no one refers to anyone older by their first name out of respect. Well, B.I., you don't live in Africa, or maybe you do, but just the United States of America. And Winfrey's BFF Gail King was quick to co-sign. I hate being called auntie. That's what you say to old people or the old lady who lives in a shoe. That's me changing it. Bitch, you are old. Let me be the one to tell you. Bitch, you old. That wig is a mess. Okay. And you on TV every day. Ma'am, you could have had that taken care of by now. I'm going to need you to get it together. 
That's what you say to old people or the old lady who lives in the neighborhood, she said. I get that it's a sign of respect. So they get that it is respect and they still reject it. But if they came out here saying, you old spinster, they'd be bad. Come on. Am I crazy, y'all? I'm sick of these bitches. And these are the elders of the community, okay? Yo, I ain't even gotten to the stuff that I planned for us today because of crap like this, this foolishness. All I've shown y'all is straight and complete and utter foolishness amongst these freaking crazy black women. You got the young acting like a fool and you got the old acting like a spinster fool. But you know, SYCBM, gentlemen, SYCBM. Never forget that. Shout out to Philly B215. Thank you, hon. Thank you for being here. And for the 499, he says, when you attain an advanced age, you're supposed to embrace an elder role in the community. These modern women are rejecting the same foolishness. They are not even modern women. Don't say that. They're not modern women. They just crazy old spinsters. Just like whoever said spinsters is the winner to that. Okay? Spinsters. And, and Oprah is supposed to be the most gratuitous person in the world. Remember, I'm so thankful for my life. Eat, love, pray, eat, love, pray. This is all you gotta do. Everything is wonderful. I don't ever want to get married. I love me some Stedman. I got all this money. I done told everybody. And all I do is sit at home with my dog. And I come out here when I want to. And here, this is what I do. This is what I do. This is what I do. I do what I want. I do what I want. And honestly, it sounds like you still miserable, Biatch. Spinster. That's my name for you, spinster. What the hell? This is Oprah we're talking about. She's supposed to have the answers to her thing. Do you really think that if um, Maya Angelou was still alive, may she rest in peace, that she would be upset if somebody called her Auntie Maya? Auntie Lou? I would have made up a name. I would have called her Auntie Lou. Angelou, just take off the rest. Auntie Lou, girl, that's what I would have called her, right? Mm mm, mm mm. This is just black woman foolishness. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna play with with modern women stuff. No, this is black women foolishness. These are the freaking elders. No wonder the rest of them have issues in a hard damn time. You worrying about talking about you old bitch? You old? All of you. I mean, come on now. Didn't I just say, uh, Felicia, Sierra is basically half life. She's 30 damn seven. That's basically half life. I know people don't want to recognize and realize it, but it is. Typically. Maybe 40, you make it to 80. I understand people are living, women are living longer, but odds are, seriously. That's why Kevin Samuels, in my opinion, said that, uh, 30 some after 30 some, you basically hit the wall because it's kind of like half life. And you got women out here talking about, oh, I didn't have eight kids and 55 million deities and I'm only 43. Bitch, you have old. Has half damn life. Come on now. Are we this dumb? I'm gonna just, are we this dumb? Y'all, y'all dumber. Y'all not dumber. Let me not say that. Y'all dumb. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Not y'all. But I'm talking about these. If this really is true, all this, I believe it's all true. Mary J, I thought I knew you better than that, child. I thought you was better than that, girl. I thought you was better than that, child. I'm gonna still watch Power. But I thought you was better than this. People been calling Mary J Blige auntie forever, as long as I can freaking remember. As long as I can freaking remember. Now, I mean, not when she was with Jodeci, but, you know, in recent years, Oh, Lord have mercy. Um, okay, Gail hates to be called auntie. I get that it's a sign of respect, but no one's calling Beyonce, Auntie Beyonce. Bitch, you ain't Beyonce. Beyonce. You ain't nowhere near Beyonce. Stop it, ma'am. You've never been Beyonce even when you was younger. Sorry, Gail. Sorry to be the one to tell you, girl. You're not the most attractive woman. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. You're you're not on Beyonce level. I mean, Beyonce could have just came out and just been Beyonce without singing and she would have had something happen with her. 
Gail, can you say you could have done that? Like, come on now, let's be let's be serious and honest, y'all. Let's be serious and honest, y'all. Come on. Goodbye, ma'am. A goodbye, ma'am. The only ones who should be calling me odds are my niece and nephew, and they don't add the I E. Girl, if you don't go to hell. Now the problem is adding the I E. I hate you bitches. I swear. Lord, forgive me. I can't take it. I can't take it. Miserable is the new happy for black women. Mm, mm, mm. Putting age aside, you can also point to how the term auntie was used historically by white people. Oh, white supremacy, racism, discrimination. White supremacy, discrimination, and racism. Should have known. Just toss up some racism whenever things ain't going your way. That's a black women trope. Toss in some racism whenever something don't go the way I want it to. Always blame it on that, even though I ain't got sugar on the iced tea to do with it. I'm sure some philosophical, really smart person will come through and say, oh, if you knew the history, F you, I don't know it. But I know daggone well in 20 damn, 20 damn three. That ain't nobody gonna sit up here and who's over the age of 50 get mad because somebody showed them some respect and called them auntie instead of spinster, okay? Rather than Mrs. or ma'am as a sign of disrespect, we back to the white people. Just look at the now retired, def, def, definite, definite, ugh, definitely racist images of Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben. Now it's the racist image. We didn't had Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben on the damn syrup and the damn box of rice for all these years. Then 2020 came. What happened to George Floyd? Let him rest in peace as well. Now all of a sudden, Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben are racist. Y'all ain't have a problem with it all these years, all this time. Now all of a sudden, now we got to be looking at that. I would rather have Aunt Jemima back on that diagonal bottle. We talked about that on a post before. Y'all be just trying to find a reason to be miserable because miserable is the new happy for black women. You're going to be mad over syrup. You're going to be mad over rice. You're going to be mad over the word auntie, which you've deemed a term of um, endearment and you still going to be mad because you want to be mad and we're going to let you and we're going to let you and watch it. I do think Michael B. Jordan generally meant auntie as a term of endearment. Of course he did, because it's only you black bitches that take stuff too damn far that don't make no damn sense. For an actress, he genuinely respects and feels was snubbed by the Academy. And as a woman in her 40s who loves to be called auntie, by the way, shout out at least to the writer of this mess, child. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Part of me understands why the title may rub some women the wrong way. After all, is anybody calling Denzel Washington uncle? Does they just got to bring a man into it somehow, some way? This ain't got nothing to do with a man, but they're going to find a way to bring a man into it. Just y'all, let me tell you, you feminists, you true, you now let's talk to modern women. You modern women, you feminists, you crazy bitches. That's sitting up here wondering why you alone, you lonely, you can't get married, you can't find a man, and you think it's because of education. No, it's because you a bitch, okay, first of all. And because you always worrying about what men are compared to women, we are not equal. I don't care what nobody say, tell your mama I said it. We are not equal. It don't work that way. It just don't work that way. Y'all keep fighting for the unattainable. You keep on. Keep me out of it, okay? Just keep me the F on the bottom of it. Shout out to Black Trunks Podcast. I'm never offended. I appreciate the respect. I would never say that to someone. And 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 they're my my children's friends, when I come across them, they still call me mom. Never been offended by that. Because they pro- more than likely they couldn't pronounce my name, so they call me mom. I love that. And I love the fact that they are older now. They still call me mom. That's respect. They could conceivably call me my first name now but I'm glad that they don't I like it that way 